a spike of 27,954%. This got my attention. It's a big number. We're going to talk about what this is. No, it's not a spike in the price of SHIB because if that was if that was true, that would be a <laughs> that'd be a much that'd be a different deal, wouldn't it? I think that'd be making uh national global news very, very quickly. Okay. So we're going to break this down here in just a minute. Thanks for your support. Hit that subscribe button, drop a like, please, please, please. Also, there's a link in the description below to Bybit. Check it out. That's my referral link down there. Bybit is the best trading platform out there. Zero spot trading fees. It's free to set up an account. Um, you can do long, shorts, uh, leverage trading. All that is the best trading platform out there. This is the trading platform I use. It's, and if you use my referral link below, you can enter to win, to, uh, uh, enter to win an iPhone. And I also get uh, additional deposit rewards. So if you if you do make a deposit, Bybit will match some of that deposit as well. So check it out. Use my referral link below. All right. So with that said, here we go. The burn rate has just spiked by 27,954.22. Don't forget, Austin to lose, not just got to say that 0.22%. 205, 2.5 billion ships sent to dead walls. Now, some of you guys are going to say, well, Austin, that doesn't really matter. Doesn't really change the amount of circulating supply, 549 trillion. I I get it. Okay. But there is a bigger discussion here. Okay. The fact that these are all community burns, these are all just individuals burning. By the way, I've sent a ton to the burn wallets myself. Okay. These are people willingly going, here you go. Okay. So, yes, I think that this number should be celebrated. Okay. Is it a huge number in the grand scheme of things? No, but all this adds up and it, it all is part of it. And it shows the power of community. That's really the key here, okay? It's the power of the SHIB army and the communities willing to continue to support and do things to do right by the community, all right? Now, beyond that, we know we have burns coming with Shibarium. We've got, and, and so remember that every single transaction is going to run through Shibarium. There will be a burn. Did a video on this earlier today, talking about the fact that when Shibarium hits, there could be north of 100 trillion tokens burned every year all because of Shibarium and all the transactions running through it. Remind you that there's only 549 trillion Shiba Inu tokens in supply, okay, in circulation. So there you go. So that's a real number. Okay, so we have community burns, and we have burns that will be associated with transactions with Shibarium. All good stuff. Okay, now let's wrap up here real quickly with kind of what the state of the union is with crypto. So as of the recording of this video, crypto is down about 2 plus percent. Now this is a kind of a more of a macro scenario. We've got kind of bad news in the market right here, right now with inflation. Chairman Powell, who's the chairman of the Federal Reserve, has come out in the last couple of days saying that the that the inflation rate uh, is not you know dwindling as much as we would want it, that they're going to probably raise the interest rate, uh, the base interest rate coming on March 22nd with the next FOMC Federal Reserve meeting. They're going to raise it probably by at least 50 basis points, maybe even 75. We've also got a CPI report, consumer price index report coming on March 14, which is uh, approximately six days from now. So you got March 14, you got March 22. These are two bad scenarios from a macro standpoint, they're going to impact crypto. With all that said, yes, uh, SHIB has been impacted as well, right? And so SHIB's right here. Uh, it's currently trading at four zeros, one oh six. It's down about five and a half percent, which is in line with kind of what's going on in the overall market. Bitcoin, all these things are moving down. These are short term volatility moves down. I still, again, have been saying this in a bunch of videos. I think that Bitcoin's going to bottom is going to be around 19,000. I think Ethereum's bottom is going to be around probably. Uh, you know, 1100, 1200. I think that that's, I think that's kind of in line with what we're seeing <clears throat> and, and all that is, is coming. Okay. In the next two weeks, we are going to have those two big indicators uh, or events rather, excuse me, are going to impact crypto. Now these are short term. Um, you know, these are roadblocks that we got to get through. They're built into the market. We're going to have some knee jerk reaction, as I call them, where we're going to see some run down. You could definitely see SHIB probably giving up a zero going down into the five, zero high nine range. I think that's entirely possible. If that happens, this guy is buying because I'm definitely going to take advantage of the dip because again, Shibarium is supposed to launch this week. Bone, the price is going to go up accordingly as that rolls along. Uh, but we got this macro factor impacting all the crypto. Okay. So. That's what I got for you. As always, thanks for your support. Hit that referral link down below for Bybit. Go do some trading. Um, zero spot trading fees. I'll see you. Bye.